Welcome to Smash Writing. Let's do original. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to the introduction. Today is another edition of OVR Original versus Remake. And today, Doom is up. And Justin kind of just wrapped up the episode. Time to go. Time to go. Goodbye until next week. No. <laughs> i never seen Doom. We're talking Doom. Remake versus original. And but the OOM, not Doom. That'll be after the part two of Doom comes out. We'll do that. <laughs> so, Paul here has never played the game. He's never right. watched the movies. No. Shockingly, because uh, being a rock fan, this was still early in his movie career. Yeah. And it just, it just never clicked on me. So... We really decided we're going to do video game month with uh, three video game movies. So, if original versus remake, why not Doom? Why not Doom? Why? I think it converted to why did we do this? So, uh, well, this we'll is like ten, eight dollars that I'll never get back in my life. <sighs> Wait, Go ahead. I need my phone. Come um, on, he needs his phone. This is how. This is how I, said, I, I didn't well, know. I'll, I'll explain. You'll understand why I need it later. Okay. So, uh, Doom. We'll start with the original. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, as the movie Doom goes, they get a little bit of narration at the beginning. 2026, a portal was found to, to able to take you to Mars. And 20 years later, they still don't really understand why it was made or the civilization of who made it. And we jump up to this space station in Olduvai on Mars, and all hell's breaking loose. Literally. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Chapman manages to make, he calls in a quarantine and help, and that's when we meet the team, led by Sarge, you have Duke, Goat, Mech, Destroyer, Portman, Kid, and then finally John, a.k.a. Reaper, <laughs> who are sent up there to take control of the situation, save the scientists, return UAV property. So they're going through this place, and you, you see the arc and everything, and they meet up with uh, Samantha Grimm, who goes with them, John's sister. And you learn that uh, John, Lee's, they were the first archaeologists <coughs> on Mars, and their parents died in a cave-in kind of deal. And John has since left Mars and wants nothing to do with Mars. And his sister is an archaeologist and she's there. But as you're going on, you start coming across these scientists who've gone crazy and they're monsters, like, kind of deals. And then you start meeting the imps, these giant monsters, who start taking out everyone. And as you're going along, also, you find out what's going on on Mars and you see the skeleton of this woman cradling her child. And uh, they have a uh, 24th chromosome, which was synthetic. And as more happens, you realize that uh, the monsters were the scientists who've been infected with chromosome 24. And the chromosome 24 has the power of either turning you into like a superhuman, like it did with Lucy and the skeleton, or a monster. And at this point, four soldiers have died, and Sergeant suddenly loses his mind a little bit. He is now seeking to search and destroy. Kill everyone on the other side, because one of the monsters makes it through the portal to Earth's side. And he, Sarge, and Kid, and Duke go through, and they just start killing everyone. And we get a lovely first-person scene of Carl Urban's Reaper going through, killing monsters, killing zombies. Pinky the monster was there. And then it ends in the big fight between him and Sarge. And he survives. Because uh, at that point, uh, she gave him chromosome 24 to help him in the fight against an infected Sarge. And it ends with them going on um, the elevator back up to Earth. That's a really rundown, condensed version of this movie. That <laughs> was more detailed than I was expecting. My God! I mean, okay. just because, like, I, I was watching this film, and I'm like, I, I enjoyed the gore. Yeah. 
Um, this is a really good action movie. Yeah. You know what it's not? It's not Doom. Doom It is. felt like Resident Evil. Yeah, it kind of had Resident Evil vibes. That's, over. like, when I, when I was watching, because I was watching it with my wife, and I'm just like, I swear I'm watching Resident Evil. The thing with Doom, and you, I had you look up details on the game. Doom has Doom Slayer. You play as Doom Slayer. You know what your job is? Kill all the demons. A portal to hell had opened on Mars. Your job is to kill all the demons. And the Doom Slayer gets so good at it, in later games you start finding demonic lore about the Doom Slayer. <coughs> the Doom Slayer. And the demons of hell fear the Doom Slayer. And the one even calls him the Apocalypse. He will be the one that ends hell if they let him out. That's deep. He is a mud stop. Yeah. Kicking the shit out of everyone. And Reaper could have been that. Like, why didn't you call Urban's character Slayer as a nod to Doom Slayer? Like, I get it, his last name is Grim, so they named him Grim Reaper. Oh, 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 isn't that funny? So creative. And you turn. Well, you use a game material that this is hell into metaphorical hell, and it's all science. And that ruins it because it's not fucking doom. But had you just changed that, you have them drill into the portal of hell, and the big secret was their siphoning power from hell. That's all you needed. Just that one plot line. Change it and make it their siphoning power from hell, like in the game. And hell's broken loose. You're good. You, you run with it, and you have a, this movie's not down, looked down upon, but held up in high standards. There you go. Um, now let's go with Well, the, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Uh, they really get the monsters right, even Pinky. I love Pinky. And they all look pretty good. I love that first person scene, where you're looking through Re or Urban's perspective in first person, he's moving the gun around, killing yeah. I love that scene. Good callback for video games. Yeah. I think the casting was alright. Goat was a little... You didn't really need Goat. Okay. But I thought the casting was good. Yeah, they I... They felt like a unit. Like I said, I enjoyed the action and the gore. It's always awesome when you're watching, you know, a, an action movie and your wife's on the next movie going, God, there's a lot of gore. Why are they digging into this person? Why are they blowing this up? And I'm just like, you gotta appreciate the gore. Um, oh, I The Rock. You really feel. I think The Rock did a better job in this movie than he has in his last several. He actually emotes. I loved it when he was yelling at Portman. And you're like, Portman, you need to shut the fuck up. Just so much face comes out of his voice when he's yelling at Portman. This is like a young actor, Rock. He was still like trying to be, get a stab. I mean, like, yeah, he had films before, but. Yeah. You know, I, I think he was better here than he has been in the last. Because I think four now, years. I think Rock now, as an established actor, has probably gotten lazy. It, he's, it's just his groove now. This is what they want from me. This is what I'll give them. Yeah. So oh, you, uh, you want to talk about the remake now? Let's see my notes for uh, the remake here. This okay. Here's his notes. Fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. And the last line, in case you can't see it. Fuck this movie. Is there any good to this? No. Nope. I no no. I'll give him this. Uh, Amy Mason. Uh, had they done her job better and with her character, could have been something. <laughs> Every ass you invoke the rabbit. You for invoking Doom's rabbit. You have the right to do it. Jesus Christ! <sighs> you can do it. I'm not. Uh, what, what, what's what's he showing me? Oh, you did a blog on this. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You read the synopsis of this movie. I ain't doing it. These are quotes by Justin. The story opens up in a lab, one on Phobos. And one on Earth. And one on Earth, testing what they believe to be teleporters. 
and their test is successful, but the man comes through as an infected monster. They manage to lock away to... <laughs> we want. We yeah. then jump to the so- so- soldiers and Lieutenant Joan Dark. Haunted by an old memory and becomes clear that she is locked by her team of extremely obnoxious and <laughs> cliche soldiers. Plus a doctor who used to date her. Because, why not? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I just like how you add that casually. Because, why not? <laughs> They're being sent to Phobos direct to security because Joan messed up bad on their last assignment. And this was their punishment. Meanwhile, back in the lab, Dr. Benchorger is attempting to prove the teleporter can work. He goes through himself and he causes an explosion and something bad comes to room. Soldiers arrive and notice right away something's wrong and they go on to restore power and find out what has happened and are attacked by the former scientists who are now monsters. Action and death are gruesome, sort of effective. You can see what's happening at almost every turn, but whatever. <laughs> they find survivors in Dr. Betchorg, Betchorg, who has no memory of what happened. They then find out the portal is a gateway to hell, although Dr. Betchorger vehemently denies this. Ventures off to their own ship, but Daisy, their AI has been hacked, and it's not letting anyone leave. And enter the demons, who actually look alright. The CGI is pretty sloppy, but grasping a trawl is here, folks. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus, where the. There's more. Yeah. I'm going through everything that happens in this movie. After a massive fight, the survivors are forced with the painful truth that the portal may be their only way out. But Joan and the Doctor know that the what Bertrand wants and are not going to do this, so that but call for help. Bertrand knows and uses Joan's failures to distract them long enough to lock them inside, and goes off to open the gates of hell, because someone on the other side has ordered him to do so. And often, more mono- after more monologuing, he introduced the worst-looking BFG. Looks like hell. And it comes down to Joan and Betrugger, and after what would have been a sad death of the dock, which was way more to slow things down than what was needed to be, she gets knocked into hell, and I just want it to be over. And she fights her way out with the power of God. The painful slow motion exit back to Earth where no one listens in the end scene of the portal just before the demons escape to Earth. There you go. That's the movie. And once again... They're playing the role of Doomslayer, as I said. Badass. I I defended them signing a woman. I don't care. I don't care. Who cares? As long as they're badass in their role, that's fine. That's what Doomslayer is. Just a pissed off human being out to stop the waves of hell and she cries at least three times in this movie and she's only empowered when she sees the cross and feels the almighty lord on her side which is not doom the thing about doom is it's one pissed off human with all the might and fury of a human can muster and is just taking it to hell that changes a little bit in the sixth game, but still, same f- thing. You don't need a power of prayer. That's 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 what Doom was missing, you know. I have your anger of watching this movie, and I don't know about the game. I just know that it just didn't work for me. I zoned out. Um, I did watch the first film first, um, literally before you know before we had our recording day. I watched them to get them fresh for the videos, and the only like it's forgotten. At least that's a fun action movie. Sure. Um, you had that first person scene, like I said. I thought the actors were good. Wait, are you talking about the remake? No, I'm talking about the original. Oh, I was talking about the remake. No. Good, no, there's nothing in that fucking remake. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> so, I think it's clear that we both agree. We didn't give them grades. The original grade. Okay. I'm giving it a C. I'm giving it a B minus. Okay. Because you know what? It's fun. I can watch it again. It's not Doom. 
They fail at being doomed. So I'm, it can't get any more than the 80. I'm, I'm giving it a C because I, I do think definitely when it comes to like video game movies where it, it, it's it's obviously based off of video game rather they if they did anything right or not that doesn't yeah. matter. Um, it does sit in that it's there. Yeah. You don't you don't want to say it's the worst I mean, movie because that's going to be um, soon enough because this is picked. Oh God, I hate you for this. Um, but. It's there. You know what? At least that movie's fun. At least that movie's fun. And compared to the remake? Now, so I'm giving the original a C. Uh, F for the remake. F for the remake. F for the remake. Um, I can't really point out anything I personally like about the remake. Like I said, what I liked about the, um, the original was the actors, the gore, and the action. It got everything. Everything except why they're there. Uh, like I said, had it actually been the Gates of Hell on that original movie, it would have been a far more talked about movie. Um, and it said there is just nothing to the, the remake. Um, Annihilation pretty much annihilated the series. Yeah. Uh, it was just so bad, honestly. It, it was bad. I don't even remember details of it because when we pick movies, I, I do watch them. And what really makes me uh, if the movie can keep my focus on it. I'm easily entertained. All you gotta do is entertain me and I'll give you a f***ing 80. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum. Um, but for... Honestly, the original speed of this, and I do think when it comes to our this idea with the uh, OVR, I think the more you get into modern films and then like 2000 films and then having a remake already, I do think you're gonna see more of the originals take place, take the winners. Um, but right now, as the overall series, the originals needed a clean sweep. And they got it. And they got it. Original Doom. Original Doom 2005. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Next month, my bloody Valentine. That's right. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.